this final set of tools I'll show you, triangle tools, is available to all PowerShape users right the way from PowerShape Base up to CopyCAD Pro. And the first of these features is the ability to delete triangles. So I've selected the triangle block, I can box select some of the triangles and on the mesh edit toolbar the final option is delete the selected triangles. Let's drop into one of the other um, selection modes, continuous lasso mode. Select some data and again delete triangles and they're all removed from the selected triangle data. Okay so the next new feature is the ability to mask triangles. Okay so on level 2 I have um, this uh, triangle data and what I'll do is just select continuous lasso mode and I'm just going to draw a lasso around the center nose section of this data like so and you can see that the uh, triangles inside the lasso are picked so the, the flyout third from the end is the mask flyout where we have three options the top, shop, top option is to mask the selected triangles like so now when triangles are masked they go in uh, translucent shaded mode to indicate that they are masked. The other effect of them being masked is they are no longer available for operations. Okay, So what I'm going to do here is just select some of the other triangle data like so. So I'm going to select the eyes inside the lasso. Now in, included in that lasso I had some of the nose. Uh, I'm going to again hit delete and you'll see that the triangles which were masked, although they were selected originally, they're not deleted. So anything which is masked from the model is not available for these edit operations. Okay, now back to the flyout. You can also unmask triangles, so you can unmask the selected triangles, or you can say unmask all triangles in the current triangle block. And those triangles are now avail available again for editing. Okay, so moving on, turn off level 2 and I'll turn on level 3 where I have some more triangle data, three different sets of triangle data here. I'm going to pick one of them, pick the blue one and I'll just mask it for a second so we can see the other remaining two. Okay, so these all three triangle data sets join together to make a single model. So this is a, a shape that's been digitized from different directions. Okay, and all the digitized data now needs to be aligned. And we can do this quite easily now in PowerShape. If I come to the edit align items function. Okay, so we have to select the two objects. <coughs> One is the alignment object and one is the reference object. Now the big difference between the two is that the reference object does not move. So the alignment object, move, the alignment object moves, the reference object does not move. So in this case, I'm going to keep the, uh, the pink one as the reference object. So my alignment object is the green, reference object is the pink. Now again, at the moment, both data sets are on top of each other. So what I can do is click this button and that will do a side-by-side -side movement for us just temporarily while we're in this function so if I hit cancel the green would go back to its original position but what that does is it allows me to pick common points on both data sets okay so I'm now going to say define points I can now clearly see both data sets so I'm going to in this case click um, five points the minimum is three I'm going to click five Like so. Now I'll come to the reference object and pick the same points in the same order. So both sets of points need to be common to both data sets. And then I'll say apply. Okay, and you can, when we OK that, you can see the alignment is performed between the two data sets. Okay, so triangle alignment, that can also be used for um, other entities than triangles as well. 
and the final option is the uh, ability to oblique triangles um, normal to a curve. Okay, so to show this, first of all, I'm just going to create a curved, a curve which is snapped onto the mesh, and I'm going to use the insert extra points option here, and then just snap some key points onto my triangle mesh. like so. So that curve is projected onto the triangle mesh for me, like so. Okay, so what I'll do now is pick the triangles and I'll come to the curve create and oblique toolbar. Okay, and the oblique form is raised and the new option here is the ability to oblique normal to a curve. So I'm going to pick the curve option, pick the curve itself, then we can specify the number of cross sections. So if I say we want six cross sections and then apply. Okay and then select the curves so we can see them. The, the obliques are unlimited so we've got curves on both sides but you can see we've sliced the triangle data normal to the curve and in this case six evenly spaced slices.